Hello, this is NCS, and welcome back to Let's Play Genzo Shoujo Tyson. Today, I'm going to show you three different ways of how to battle Yuka. Three different ways in the sense of um, the first way being only trying to get the WP bonus from her on normal. The second one is unlocking a new song, and the third one actually trying to beat Yuka. The third one will probably take most time. Well, it probably will. Um, okay. Um, yeah, let's try and get the WP bonus from her. For that, uh, let's see, we have to be in attacking range. Okay. okay, let's move up here with Kirino. Uh, or actually, yeah, yeah, let's, let's use Kirino, why not? Let's use Grid on Kirino. Move into attacking range of Yuka. And yeah, that's pretty much it we want to do for the first round. Because um yeah, let's just perfect. Actually we only want to hurt her. No use in wasting MP or something like that. Um actually what you could also do is just defending. That would uh, cut the ten damage <laughs> Karen will receive in half again. <laughs> um yeah. The reason we only want to, uh, well, yeah, we do not want to attack Yuka ourselves, or why we want to use someone, well, you know, like Kirinu can cut the damage to a really low amount or anything like that, is because Yuka will always use Strike, which unfortunately will increase her accuracy to 100%. But fortunately, oh. ow! Fortunately, um, with using uh, grit, we always will, at best receive 15 damage. So yeah, um, unfortunately, strike will hold uh, for the entire turn. What we could do now is uh, using sense with Reino. Yeah. Uh, which would override uh, Yuka's ability, but I don't like doing that. And I believe I'm gonna be too close to Sakya if I move down here. But you know what, I'm gonna reload anyway, because like I said, I want to defeat Yuka eventually anyway. So yeah, I don't really care, I just want to be out of Yuka's range for now. And hey, we're actually not in Sakya's range just yet. Alright. And um, yeah, for the last attack, you want to either attack her with anyone or use um, a spirit ability or anything. You just want that Yuka attacks you a second time. Since for the WP bonus, you only need to be in two battles with, <coughs> with Yuka and nothing more. Have we seen that already? Yeah, I'm gonna show that. Eventually, anyway. And we got the WP bonus. Alright. And... <coughs> um... Yeah, now you all you want to do is uh, retreating again. And eventually move down here to attack Sakya. Yuka will do nothing anymore. Unless you, of course, get into attacking range again. Hmm, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna reload just yet, since, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter uh, whether I reload or not for getting the additional song which I want to unlock. Unfortunately, you need to use Mighty Staff for that. Okay. What do you mean I'm not a... I don't want to use Master Spark just yet. Okay, let's move one space closer. Well, it doesn't matter whether we attack or not anyway. I believe, at least. It only matters that Marisa actually survives. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, for the first time that Marisa is in a battle with Yuka, I'm gonna show that 
that up later. Anyway, um, yeah, we will have a dialogue. However, once you use Master Spark after the dialogue with uh, You Can't Bodies has been triggered. Usually I would say I would not recommend doing that at all unless you want to get the additional song. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's show that off. The magic cannon of life, huh? Probably. How would you know? <laughs> um, no it isn't. You haven't thought of it. And... The second, or rather, if you attack, um... Yuka with Marisa, uh, well, with Master Spark on her set on the, the second battle between those two, Yuka will use Drive, and you're gonna see what will happen now. Oh, did okay. Um, I believe Drive will um, increase Yuka's power to over 130, and uh, yeah, Yuka's gonna use Master Spark now. Yikes! <laughs> okay. Modus actually survived that. <laughs> hey, she stole our name. <laughs> and yeah, that white laser you had previously, that is the map version of the Master Spark. So yeah, if we look up the name now, um We can see that Yuka has two Master Sparks. One time, the new one, which will... 4,500 damage! That's insane! And look at the range! Yes, I know we've gotten some good background music. It's actually playing in the uh, background now. I could listen to that all day. <laughs> um, and yeah, you definitely do not want to let this happen. But yeah, um, actually, can we take a look at this now? Yeah, Drive apparently increases her power by, um, I would actually say 30. So yeah, she will always be able to use copy images uh, when Marisa is attacking with Master Spark, and I believe she always will use it, actually. Um, yeah. At least it has happened to me all the time, I tried that. So yeah, definitely, you do not want to attack with Marisa in the second battle with Master Spark. Well, in Marisa's second battle with Master Spark, that's more like it. However, if you use Master Spark in the first battle between Yuka and Marisa, this scene will not be triggered. And we're gonna make use of that once we've reloaded. Unfortunately, the music stays for this round. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So, now begins the tricky part. I still hope I won't screw up along the way. Um, yeah. As I've mentioned last time, whenever Yuka hits one of the characters, her power will be increased by three. So we definitely want to do anything to prevent that from happening. So, I guess the only thing we can actually do is using Sense with Rayma. 100% evasion for one attack ugh, only. Let's see, Yoma is also not all too bad, not for the first round, but she has focus, so um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to attack with her eventually. 
Marisa should stay in the back to use Master Spark as the finishing blow, and Alice, well, we have gotten her the support attack ability, especially for this purpose, so yeah, she's gonna stay here as well. Kane, uh, since we do not want anyone to get hurt, or well, maybe one character can get hurt once, but that's the absolute maximum. And we want to, her to stay back here, so she's not in targeting range. Kirino, she has a good enough evasion, but unfortunately, she doesn't have any uh, spirit ability to increase her evasion anymore, so yeah, that's a little stupid. But yeah, for the first round, since Yuka is always going to use her um, her strike ability, we definitely want to use Reima's sense ability to counter that. Okay, let's put Reima up here. Do not attack since uh, that would actually... Yeah, uh, strike holds for an entire round, so yeah. The second time, Raim would definitely get hit, and like I said, we want to prevent that from happening. Okay, end the turn. Yeah. I was just wondering whether or not I should have actually um, moved closer to her in order to use um, a stronger attack like Fantasy Seal, but no, that's okay. And unfortunately, actually, nah, I wouldn't have gotten close enough any. Attack, three. Okay, I'm gonna reload him, <laughs> just to make sure. Since we want to make the best out of every round that we can. Uh, yeah, we would have been close enough, okay. In that case, use sense on the Rema. Move closer. Hope we're not in attacking range of Sakia. Ugh. Actually, I think we are. Uh, okay. Ah, and I left me to be too far away. Oops. No more. Let's see. Yeah, we are. Okay. In that case, let's not use sense just yet. Yeah, as you can see. This part here will contain a lot of reloading, unfortunately. Alright, let's... there. Get Dimitri's turn. Use her guarding ability. Since Dimitri will actually... receive quite a lot of damage from Sakya over the rounds. Okay, Sakya took the bait. Awesome. Let's use Defend. Nah, it wasn't all too important anyway. Okay, 850 damage. Mm, yeah, right. Now we can actually use Sense with Prema. Move closer to Yuka so we can use um, our strongest attack. You first, you start again. Thank you. I did give you the... yeah, I did give uh, Mikuri the Ginjo Saka in case uh, things go bad and she has to be healed or something like that. Okay, and if I don't want to use my SP just yet. Okay, and the turn. Yeah, let's use Defend. And right now... Um, Fantasy Seal, yep, that's what we want to use. We want to, at best, critical Yuka in every single round, so we have less attacks required to get her down to the critical HP. So yeah, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna reload until it actually works. Yes, of course. That's because we like you. <laughs> and it wasn't a critical. So I'm gonna reload until I actually have one. So I'll be right back. Although, yeah, I'm probably um, gonna do the rest of this post commentary, so I won't have to save that all too often anymore. So yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. 
uh, what was off screen, I placed Tierno a little closer to Yuka so that bomb I'm gonna use on her will actually be in range. Yeah, that was a little stupid. Um, well, forgetting about that. And um, by the way, unlike I previously said, you do not absolutely need to uh, land critical hits on Yuka. It would be really great because that would save you some MP and uh, ammunition for your stronger attacks, but I reloaded like 30 times and didn't get a same critical hit with it aim in. So yeah. If it doesn't happen, don't overexert your luck. You'll need that later on, trust me. But yeah, now the reason I'm using a bomb here is um, for one, so characters like Yomo can rush in and um, land a hit on Yuka, but also um, to deal some slight, uh, some slight damage without actually increasing her power. So that's really nice. Although do keep in mind that um, the power of the bombs is based on your power. Level Lock Grimoire. Uh, back when Alice was a extra stage boss, she had her Grimoire unlocked, which caused her to use some of the most powerful spells there are. Oh, and uh, as you just see, Alice did actually have a critical hit on Yuka. Um, yeah, landing some of them with Alice is not all too troublesome since she has that high skill stat. But with other characters, well, I suppose landing a critical hit does not only depend on your own skill stat, but also on that of the enemy. And since Yuga has about the same skill that Alice has, yeah, that makes things difficult. But... Alright, yeah, Yoma. Definitely use focus, don't forget about that. Because otherwise you're pretty much gonna get hit. Eventually. So yeah, definitely use Yoma uh, for attacking Yuka because of her good evasion. Marisa not yet because, well, what I've just told you about um, attacking Yuka a second time with Marisa. No good idea at all. <laughs> Did I really forget to... <laughs> okay. Or rather, I accidentally activated um, the battle animation. If you only have weaker attacks uh, for usage, don't use them unless Yuga has only about uh, 1000 HP left uh, until her fleeing mark. And yes, Yuka will flee from the battle if her HP drops below 30 or so percent. Which is on normal 7500? Yeah. That's actually the biggest problem you have with Yuka. Defeating her wouldn't be a problem if she didn't run away, but <laughs> try dealing 7500 damage normally. Really, it's impossible. Especially without any weapon upgrades. Um, but actually, if you manage to get um, Marisa above level 18, Exactly level 18. Um, she learns a, um, a spirit ability then, which will double her damage output. So she should be able to deal all the damage alone without uh, requiring critical hits. The only problem is though, getting Marisa to level 18. In all my playthrough playthroughs so far, I was not able to do that. And definitely don't forget to, um, <clears throat> to use gain, obviously, <laughs> and uh, to activate your Danmarko power. Yeah. Um. All right, Mass Spark and Shine Handle. That was the strategy I was going for, since that does not require any uh, weapon upgrades on normal, at least. But on hard at Lunatic it does, unfortunately, or I believe both level 3 damage power as well as weapon upgrades, unfortunately. 
and what do you mean you don't know what she uh, who she's talking about? Can't you remember your old mentor? The one teaching you all your stuff except for Master Spark, which you stole uh, blandly from Yuka. And as you could just see there, uh, I had to reload because Master Spark did not actually deal uh, a critical amount of damage, unfortunately. Um, I cut most of the reloadings out. I had to reload a few times before already as well. But yeah, cut all of that out. But... Yeah. Trying to get to land a critical on Yuka is really annoying. At least with anyone but Alice. And the worst part is critical and then be guarded! I just sat there for a minute or so and... <laughs> yeah. Because I had to, like, reload 50 or even more times already. Yeah. Yuka, why do you have your guarding ability? Seriously. And now imagine her additionally. Oop. And then you have two critical hits. <laughs> yeah, but her having additionally 50% evasion chance. Getting her killed is almost impossible once Yuka's power is over 130. Which is why I made sure that, um, that her power will be 126 or less when attacking with Marisa, since um, yeah, that will ensure that Alice as well will only have to worry about, uh, about yeah, the blocking and we got a ton of points and experience there. And three level ups. In my other file, Marisa was level 11, and she still got to level 15, so four level ups. Holy! Yeah, that's. If you actually defeat Yika, then that is awesome. However, I took like three hours trying to defeat her. One and a half hour, or even two hours, only trying to get Master Spark to work. I had like three critical hits that were blocked either on Marisa's turn or on Alice's. So yeah, Yuka's a bitch. 